So I think revision cases can be handled in a number of ways. It can be also handled through an open rhinoplasty with um, either more or less grafts being used. Um, and it can also be done through a closed structure rhinoplasty approach using cartilage grafts. If you, if you have to, you can use ear, ear cartilage uh, to reconstruct certain deficiencies. But um, it, it can be treated in, in a number of ways. It depends on your, your availability of techniques and knowledge of the procedure. In, in my practice, um, about 60 to 65 percent, sometimes more in certain periods of time, are revision rhinoplasty. And that's not for the second or third time, sometimes even for the fourth time. I'm actually giving a lecture on that this year on um, how to approach certain very complex cases in revision rhinoplasty. Um, the reason, um, why, why is nose surgery the most complex of all facial plastic surgery procedures? Because it is. Uh, the rhinoplasty is probably my favorite. It's the most challenging of all plastic surgery procedures and it's my number one procedure that I do. Um, as you evolve in this, in this field, mystifying field of rhinoplasty, um, you start to get more and more complex cases just by, by your subspecializing in certain aspects of plastic surgery, which in my case is rhinoplasty. In revision rhinoplasty, it, it really tests the will of a surgeon because um, it, even primary rhinoplasty is the most uh, difficult of all procedures to consistently get right and do a really good job on. And um, as you do more and more cases, you realize, uh, as when I was a very young surgeon, I said to one of my mentors, in rhinoplasty, after, see, after doing hundreds of cases and then after watching an, several hundred cases, I said, it's amazing what we don't understand in rhinoplasty because it, it, every nose is different. So you have to do something a little bit different in order to really perfect your technique. 